hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Diafne if you're new here welcome bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video as you can see by the title we're going to talk all about spring summer perfumes let's get into it if you are familiar with my channel you know I absolutely love perfumes I'm going to talk about some fragrances that I think are very suitable for spring and summer just a quick disclaimer I am NOT a professional okay so we're going to read the notes and we're gonna talk a little bit about them the very first one is one that I always 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 talk about this is Chanel mademoiselle now you guys this is not like a specific to summer scent but i just love it so much it's fresh it's sophisticated but it's not too much it's kind of it's not too sweet just a little bit like i i really really love this one so this one is a all year round fragrance for me I'm never not going to have this one in my collection and the keynotes are orange patchouli and turkish rose so it's floral for sure but it's very sophisticated very soft very mademoiselle-ish next up is chloe this one is one that i've been using for years and years and years and i already know just like the chanel it will never leave my collection unless my taste just drastically change of course i think everyone should have this in their collection look at the bottle just luxury i just love 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 this scent it's floral it's a little powdery it has a little a small little kick of spice in there it's really 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 an amazing scent i really love to wear this during the day but sometimes i can pair this at night with something a little heavier and it's just as beautiful i love to mix chloe with the with the coco mademoiselle and people always ask me what am i wearing now the keynotes are peony cedarwood rose and honey definitely i can smell the peony in this it's amazing i love this one next up is one that is fairly new to my collection this is the jo malone peony and blush suede cologne i love this one this one smells really good you can definitely smell the peony in here this is a floral scent and i guess the blush suede just make it so smooth it's like a smooth classic floral my only issue with this is that it does not last on me but um like i mentioned before in my sephora video where i hauled this for you guys because i love the scent so much i don't mind reapplying ever so often the keynotes are red apple peony and suede yeah this one smells really good i love it i even got the candle you guys next up is one that i absolutely featured in my perfume collection this is the balenciaga paris this one is definitely one of my favorites i love this i mean look at the bottle you guys it is floral it's fresh still it's a tad bit powdery this smells really good the notes in here are pepper violet cedarwood patchouli and vetiver one of those notes i feel like really draw me in whenever i smell perfume and i'm like oh my gosh i love this there's always some sort of vetiver patchouli orange blossom along those lines oh this is an amazing perfume the next one is a very old favorite i've been using this for years and years and years i also mentioned this in my perfume collection that i did this one is just so soft mainly used to layer on top of something else very airy it's very it's like a spring morning in the bottle you know and it's just it's not offensive at all the chloe the coco chanel balenciaga and this daisy right here are always in my collection mark jacobs have a lot a lot of versions of these this one is the also oh fresh this one is classified as a fruity floral the notes are red raspberry wild rose and warm plum i have four more left and those four are heavy hitters i have here the tom ford soleil blanc and soleil blanc body oil the bottle alone screams luxury it smells so divine rich woman on vacation status you know what i'm saying i rented the whole villa status this is like 
vacation in a bottle. Not just any vacation, rich vacation in a bottle. I love this perfume. And as you can see all over the internet, everyone else loves this one too and it's for a reason it smells amazing so this one is considered a warm and spicy sweet gourmand this is bergamot pistachio and coco de mer <laughs> i can definitely get the coco de mer over here like oh my goodness it smells divine for the body oil it smells identical let me show you guys how do you guys see the glow in my hand who is this you know what i'm saying who who smells this good well baby it's you oh yeah this is this is life this is amazing next up baccarat 540 i know i know you guys are tired of hearing about it everyone talks about it you don't care about it but you need it in your collection that's all i'm gonna say i have a little mini size my bigger bottle is already done so i have to replace that this is the perfume that i run out of the most the fastest well everyone has it it's so overrated it's so hyped up it's hyped up for a reason get you a baccarat 540 because Girl, you need it. You don't want to be left out. You want to smell good, okay? I'm telling you. And if you don't want to smell like everybody else, just mix your perfumes. The notes in here are jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, and ambergris. This is nothing to play with. This is mighty, amazing, rich. You're that girl. You need it, okay? Now let's get into the last two perfumes, Creed, Love, and White. Let's take a minute and admire this bottle right here. Hold on, let's just, let's take a minute. Do we see this? I mean, she is sickening and she smells so good. You know what this smells like? It's so weird, but it smells like a fresh bar of soap, which is not like a great way to describe it, but it's like, ugh, mixed with Baccarat, oh my gosh. Ah! It smells so good, like, you smell fresh, but it smells so rich. It's not too much, it's not overpowering, but it lasts a very long time on me. This one is categorized as a floral fresh, and the notes are Bulgarian roses, Calabrian bergamot, sweet magnolia. When you mix this baby right here with your Baccarat 640, honey, <laughs> you, you ready. They're not gonna talk to you because they already know this girl right here. You better come correct. She smells good, she rich, she looks good. She's confident. This is you right here. Let me know in the comments if you have it, if you've tried this, if you ever tried any of the Creed perfumes. Let's chat down below. Let me know, girl. You need these. You have to pick one or two and add that to your collection. Now let's talk about the last girl. She's also an it girl. We're talking about bond number nine, Try. Becca. Let's look at this bottle. I'm just gonna sit her here and then that's that. We're not gonna say much. We're just gonna look at her. She's educated. She's expensive. She's beautiful, confident. You know what I'm saying? She's that girl. She doesn't have to say much. You see her. You see her, okay? I love the smell of this when I first spray it. You guys, you smell so good. It kind of reminds me of like baby sister to Soleil Blanc, but unfortunately you guys that specific perfume does not last on my skin now i vouch for it because i love the way it smells and i've heard other people talk about how amazing it is but it also dissipates very quickly off of my skin i'm not sure what it is oh that smells good i have another perfume that reminds me of this scent but I just cannot put my hand on it. This girl right here has Cacao Absolute, Green Hazelnut, Jasmine Simbac Absolute, Cedarwood, Ambroxin, Moss, and Caramel. Lil Mama smells good. She smells really good, but she doesn't last on my skin. I would say check it out before you purchase it. Spray it on your skin, spray it all over you, go home, and just see how well it lasts on you. Just because it doesn't last on me and it's not perfect for me, doesn't mean it's not perfect for you. This is the end of the video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know I love talking perfumes. Don't forget to like, comment, and remember to please subscribe. Share the video with your friends and family. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.